your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Okay, I've asked my questions. I've made my points. Uh, he's one of the type of guests that really gets me raving because it, it just so many thoughts going through my mind but in this short segment and for the next dr baggage let's get into more of these technologies more of these control systems uh where you see this uh you know moving to how it's unfolding uh, why do we see the media starting to talk about it so much does that mean that there is a rollout of this about to happen as they try to normalize it uh, dr baggage you've got the floor yeah, I think it is about normalizing it, you know, because the warnings were issued long ago. You know, even The Economist, which people see as one of the more uh, prestigious magazines in the world, their cover story in May 2002, now that's, you know, that's nine years ago, and the cover story was called The Future of Mind Control. And, it, and it's got a, a, a head with a combination lock in the center of the skull. And, and that's exactly where we're at. And that article was about the ethics of it, which is just where we were before the break. You know, this whole concept that when's it right, when's it wrong. There used to be a book years ago, it's been out of print, it was called Mind, Man the Manipulator. And it explains the difference between persuasion and manipulation. And persuasion is, you know, what the country was really based on. It was the idea that you would have political, vibrant political debate, the right of assembly, free speech, uh, freedom of religion, all these things that create the environment of, free-thinking individuals that have a right to some level of self-determination. That's sort of the foundation under which this country formed and a lot of the thinking uh, that we started with formed. And I say thinking because in those days, whether you were the shopkeeper, the butcher, the baker, or the candlestick maker, you participated in your government. In fact, you were probably all of those things and had those skills just to function as a normal human being uh, a few hundred years ago. Today... Our skill sets are so different. The idea of being able to survive independently is not the creation of business school. You know, business schools create dependence and, 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 and a requirement where you really don't have freedom, where you're, you're literally pushed directions all through the day from the time you wake up until you sleep at night. That is so contrary to our basic nature, number one. At the same time, when you look at uh, the amount of, of change that's on our horizon and what's coming. I mean, we, anyone who's lived 50 years has seen the revolution, you know, in terms of technology. But you have seen nothing yet. Everything you've seen uh, from the invention of the wheel to where we are today will be repeated every nine months or so from here on out and getting smaller and tighter and faster because of our computing power, our ability to process information. And this is where I was speaking earlier about resolution, you know, being able to see things more clearly, influence things more clearly, requires a higher and higher degree of resolution in terms of our circuitry and the fineness of that circuitry to discern these very minute and unusual signals that now we're not only able to discern, but we're able to manipulate, whether it's the, the activity within our brains that fit a very specific pattern when you're having very specific thoughts. And the idea of transferring those from one human being to another, right now DARPA has two contracts in the University of California operating today that are to determine how that mechanism works for creating artificial um, telepathy. But I can tell you, there was work done in 1985, and I've seen the, the unpublished work 
by one of the best uh, in this field in the world. And in 85, they were able to take uh, nine test subjects in two separate rooms and transfer information from one mind to the other accurately. And they were using the uh, cards that show squares and circles and rectangles and all these different shapes. And with 100% accuracy, with people that had no previous knowledge that they had this capacity, using an electronic apparatus, we're able to do it. And that's why the globalists don't want us to have our own morals, or our own compass. That's why they don't want parents, when kids are young, to put your own ideas in them. They say, oh, let your kid be themselves. That's so they can do all the programming and teach them how to fail, teach them how to commit suicide, which they admit the anti-suicide education has made it go off the charts. So they increase the funding because it's not failing, it's succeeding. They come to kill, steal, and destroy. Stay there, Dr. Baggage. More straight ahead. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones asking you for a minute of your time to tell you about soap. Not detergents, but good old-fashioned pure soap made by the Cal Ben Soap Company, a family-owned and operated American company. My family, staff, friends, and radio listeners are constantly telling me how much they love these products for bath, hair, laundry, and dishes. There is nothing like these factory direct, big money saving, triple concentrated soaps anywhere. Get a free detailed catalog by calling 800 340 7091 or see them online at 5starsoap.com or infowars.com. Let's talk to the owner of 5 Star Soap, Marty Schachter, and see what he has to say. As founder and owner for over 63 years, People keep asking me, how's business? I'm happy to say our business is going down the drain. Call us at 1-800-340-7091. Visit our website, 5starsoap.com, for buying a one- to two-month soap sampler. Thank you. You've heard Alex explain how the Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced colloidal silver solutions Yet many are unaware of the entire function of the silver lung system and how it has been designed to deliver your silver solutions anywhere in or on the body. My name is Mario Cifaldi, and I'm the developer of the Silver Lungs Generator. Not only does the Silver Lung System produce endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions, it also comes equipped with the proper applicators and devices needed to deliver your silver solutions directly to key target areas. This includes the eyes, ears, nose, lungs, topically to the skin, and orally for the digestive system. Be sure to watch our new seven minute video tour of the Silver Lung System at www.silverlungs.com to learn more about how the Silver Lung System works. As well, we are always ready to answer any questions you may have. That's www.silverlungs.com. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We go back to the 1950s. There were many cases of the CIA testing LSD and other drugs on unsuspecting members of the public, dropping it in their drinks, uh, giving it to their own military personnel. You know all the examples of declassified times when they would nerve gas our own troops. I mean, it, it's about playing God and shifting gears into an interesting area with Dr. Nick Baggage talking about mind control. All of his great books and videos available at Infowars.com, Controlling the Human Mind, The Technologies of Political Control, or Tools for Peak Performance, Angels Don't Play This Harp, Getting Into Harp, the Mind Control DVD, A Brave New World, or Enhancing Human Performance, the Harp DVD, they're all available again at Infowars.com. 
or you can go to uh, his website as well, earthpulse.com. By the way, I've sent him a video Skype camera and stuff. You may be seeing Dr. Nick Baggage. He's fixing his, he's, he's changing offices right now. Uh, guest hosting some in the near future. She'll be able to hear him unbridled without my interjections. Uh, but, but, but Charlie Sheen, the Charlie Sheen I've known, a lot of people that know him well have said, man, he's a quiet, nice, humble guy who's really giving. Uh, all of a sudden, he seems really wild. I mean, could it be that he was sober for almost a decade, then went back on stuff for seven months? Now he's kind of manic. When I got him on a few weeks ago, I wasn't expecting that because when I was at his house a week before that, he wasn't manic. Uh, now, uh, you know, I, I told him, I said, they're going to fire you. And I said, you need to try to, you know, even though they've been attacking you and stuff, you need to try to get along with them. But, but more and more, I look at some of these Hollywood stars, and, and, and you have to ask. I mean, it's a great example of not just government people, but folks that are due to be paid $200-plus plus million dollars. Uh, you know, does somebody want to cheat him out of that? Is somebody slipping a Mickey in his drink? Uh, is there some type of psychotronic thing going on? Because I've been there when he's getting blood tested and urine tested. He is off drugs. Or is it just he's manic? Or uh, what's going on? I mean, any views on that? Well, you know, there's, uh, I, I can tell you that you, you see it uh, in a lot of people right now and that it, you know, the swings of, you know, of emotions. And, uh, and if you look at a lot of the underlying factors, uh, I think, are these stressors that we're talking about. You know, that the fact that people who didn't use um, cell phones, who didn't have a wireless world surrounding them at the level in which we do now, I mean, how much stress is that creating? For individual systems that breaks out um, occasionally in, in, in irrational ways. I was about to say, he lives on his cell phone, and they admit that cell phones, ABC News, increase brain activity and almost create a manic-like state. Right, and so why expect anything else? And, and look at the population across the population. We have more people on psychoactive drugs because of some um, depression or illness. And, you know, I can tell you, uh, you know, where I live, I live in, in, in a very dark place. Place, Alaska in the winter, it's horrible, you know, and it affects me profoundly, I can tell you. And, and, and if it wasn't for uh, some level of vitamin D supplements, I would be a total uh, wreck. And most people are vitamin D deficient. That's another article that ran finally recently in the news. Uh, we've been saying it for years. Check your D levels. Most people work in cubicle world today. They don't even get in the sun, and when they do, they're so screen blocked, they don't get any sun. And vitamin D is leading to more depression. And then you lay on top of that electromagnetic field interference and the chemicals that we ingest and anything less um, than, than manic behavior from time to time uh, would be the exception. And I'll tell you when you really notice it is when the power grid fails in your area and you notice how quiet it gets. Uh, but you also notice your whole body takes an exhale. Your whole body relaxes as you quit compensating for those external fields that are there like background noise in a crowded room. It's what you were talking about earlier in the program, Alex, getting out of the, in the country in a remote place where you're away from it. How much better do you feel, unless you're from New York well, City? Well, you know, <laughs> I, this proves it because I'm not consciously thinking about what you're saying at the time, but over my life, whenever there's a citywide blackout, it cuts off. And it's not just the excitement of the power being off. You walk outside, whether it's day or night, and you suddenly just, oh, I feel so good. Yeah. It's like magic. That's the feel, isn't it? It is, and it is. And we, and we because we're in it, there's an old Chinese saying, you know, what's the sound of being born in an ex into an explosion? It's called silence because you don't notice that it's sound. And that's what has happened as we've immersed ourselves in this electromagnetic soup um, it's been a it's been a creeping sound of silence that now when the when we truly have silence and, and that uh, interference is gone we fully notice notice it it's why when we come home from work one of the first things we do is we kick our shoes off and the reason is we most of us have uh, souls that actually insulate us from the electrical currents within the ground and there are currents within the ground that our body will in fact and does in fact rely on the natural rhythm of this planet is 7.83 hertz it's called schumann's resonance well that's why that's how birds uh, can navigate right but in, and in schumann's resonance that's the ideal state if your brain is between seven and eight hertz you're in this super creative um 